What's up guys, Nick from VDK here. Today we're going to be doing a review on our 2019 Mountaintop Custom Kennels Dog Trailer. This is a dog trailer we use uh, every single day. Uh, it holds uh, 20 dogs and we're going to have to review it and take a look at that. But real quick, what I need you to do is kind of like uh, do one of those likes, do one of those comments, do one of those subscribes. Tell us where you're from. Uh, if you do all that, somebody's going to win this super cool patch. Uh, we will mail it right to your house. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, just tell us where you're from. So, like I said, this is a this this trailer right here holds 20 dogs. Uh, we use this every single day in our training uh, regimen. Typical loadout for uh, um, the trailer every day is anywhere from 15 to 20 dogs uh, that go out cycle through training. Um, these dogs can be for Border Patrol, TSA, Department of Defense, ATF, any combination of that, law enforcement. So the trailer gets used a lot. The compartments need to be strong. Um, this trailer was custom built for us by Mountain Top Custom Kennels. It was built to our specs. The compartment sizes are a little bigger than what he normally does. Um, and so we needed to kind of have a, a multi-function, a multi-role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over here. Each compartment has louvers. Right now the louvers are obviously shut. We can open these up for good airflow. Every one has a clip for a safety catch. That way if something happens with the door handle or the latching system, it won't open. We also use this to signify that there's a dog in there. So all of our trainers, all of our kennel techs, uh, myself, Michelle, we all know that if that latch is there, there's a dog in there. This helps us keep track of uh, compartments being used, when, when they're occupied and whatnot. Here's the in, inside part of the compartment. It's all uh, stainless steel skin. Each dog has a mat. And every one of these has a nice pan in there to prevent uh, uh, liquids from going back and forth. If the dog has an accident uh, or if we need to clean the trailer, it kind of keeps it isolated. We designed this so that these are what we call pods or they're groups of four. So we have airflow up top all the way through, but then solid wall. So the trailer is broken up into sections of four. four eight, 12, 16, and 20. So no more than four dogs can interact with each other at a time. We also have these breezeways. What's great about this is this collects heat. So if we're traveling or if we're parked or stationary, heat rises, right? So this up here will collect heat. On a warm day, if you uh, don't have the fans running, you don't have the AC running, but you have dogs in there, even with these vents, you open up this breezeway, you can feel the heat be released. Both sides open. So we can have full ventilation. While we're out training, what we typically do is the dog is in here. Dogs obviously get excited off each other's energy, right? They feed off each other. So while we're training, if we're out in a field or we're entering a building, coming out of a building, or we're working vehicles, we'll close their blinders. We'll open the breezeway. The dog can't necessarily see the other dog, but the heat collects and it escapes. If it is extremely hot out, we have an AC system on this vehicle or this uh, trailer. This trailer is equipped with two uh, I can't remember the exact BTUs, but two of the high-grade AC units. Uh, it also has an onboard generator, which powers those. The trailer can be uh, kept climate controlled in the front, in the back, or both at the same time. We have these thermostats here, which we can control the climate. We can set the temperature we want. We can put it on auto. We can put it on just a fixed temp and leave it there. Uh, or we can put it on auto where it cycles on and off. Trailer also has two fans, uh, one for this main compartment and also one for the back of the trailer. That helps bring that heat up and lets it escape. Uh, typically, if I'm running the air, I also leave the fans on because again, heat rises, cool air drops. So it'll help collect that heat up top in this breezeway section and then the fan will expel that heat. The uh, AC units, uh, the vents throughout will also help bring that cool air down. The trailer is also insulated uh, in the front, the top and the bottom. Uh, the R value varies between the top and the bottom and the front, however it is insulated. 
Um, I will say there is a good amount of air movement in here though, even with everything closed up, just because of all the doors and all the uh, seams that we have. Uh, seams allow a lot of airflow. Even with uh, even with these seals, you still get a lot of airflow. The trailer itself is roughly 35 feet long. So one of the things we wanted to do was make sure we have plenty of lighting on the side. Uh, 35 foot trailer is extremely long, um, larger than most. So we had turret signals incorporated in the front. We had turret signals incorporated midship. And also obviously in the back. The kennels right here above the wheels, these are a double door design allowing the dog or allowing this door to be open but the dog's still in there which allows more airflow one of the reasons why we did the double door design here and not the rest of the trailer is there's nowhere to collect the heat so you needed more ventilation uh, i will say that i'm going to eventually put double doors on the entire trailer uh, it helps with uh, if you need to open all the doors it helps with uh, getting the dog in and out so you can see the dog better uh, but I do like the double door design. However, when we first built it, it wasn't feasible just because of the added cost. Uh, however, again, we will be doing this uh, on this trailer in the future. We actually have another trailer right now that's half the size being built, it's a 10 dog trailer, and that trailer will have double doors throughout. This trailer features a 40 gallon water tank. It's pressurized, so you have high pressure water and you also have regular feed water gravity fed. Um, unfortunately, we had a little road accident. So our water system is currently unavailable. I'll show you the other side. It's similar, but uh, or it should be the same, but that too had a little uh, a road accident. One of the things that we've been having issues with with the trailer because of the size and because of the distances we travel and the weight is we've been trying to find tires that work. Basically what's been happening is tires have been exploding. We originally had a, their nickname China Bombs. I cannot remember what the brand was. Um, we had that on here and I was popping a tire every week. Um, the distances we travel are pretty far. We're here in North Georgia. However, we do travel to San Antonio. We do travel to El Paso. So that is a lot of miles on this trailer and that's a lot of heat uh, on those tires. So we then switched to a Goodyear Endurance tire, which is supposed to be uh, highly heat rated and, and good for high, uh, miles per hour in the freeway. I want to say 87 mile per hour max speed. Typically when we're traveling, we're going 72, 74. So we're definitely not approaching that. However, I noticed, or what's been happening is those tires have been exploding also. And to the point where it actually took out my water lines on both sides. We have now switched or trying another tire called Hercules, the H901. These have a lower speed rating, but they have a, a I think a 14 ply versus a 10 ply. It's either 12 or 14 versus the 10 ply. Uh, so I'm hoping that because of the weight of the trailer, the 10 ply wasn't enough uh, with the bumps and the impact. And I'm hoping that these new tires uh, will fix that problem. The trailer itself, it, it doesn't weigh that much and it is uh, front heavy. The trailer weighs roughly around 10,000 pounds um, with equipment, with dogs, with water. So it's really not that bad as it is a aluminum frame with stainless steel skin. Um, so all in all, the weight should be, you know, relatively good but again we've been popping tires left and right so i'm not too sure where that's playing into it but i'm hoping that these new tires um, fix that mountaintop custom kennels on our new trailer is the same design however they are putting a shield over the water where the water uh, lines are and water feed is in the event that we do have a tire pop hopefully it doesn't take out my water lines because obviously if i'm on my way to el paso and I'm 10 hours from home, it's very hard to get new water, right? I have to reach out to friends and stuff like that. We did opt to do two spare tires. Most trailers come with one spare tire. We felt because of the distances we travel that we really needed to have two spare tires. So I have two spare tires. As you can see, the latches are a little dry rotted. Um, they do need to be replaced. There are things on this trailer that need to be replaced just from wear and tear. I would say I've probably put about 100,000 miles on this trailer so far in the course of three years. Um, maybe going on four years, I think three years. Um, so it gets used a lot. Every single day in training, uh, deliveries, you name it, it gets used. Um, all in all, it's held up very well, but there is a little bit of wear and tear that needs to be done. The back also features a, a thick steel bumper, or I should say a thick aluminum bumper for that rear end collision. Moving back around, 
one thing that we opted for we did not want to have any dog compartments in the very back i wanted to have i wanted to have uh, a gear uh, compartment there that way if there was a rear end uh, impact or collision the dog would be able to hopefully have a, a nice fighting chance uh, likewise when we go long distances we actually don't use the rear of the trailer at all we make sure that all the dogs are, are forward um, and typically i'm not going out with 20 dogs anyway so it works well we leave that rear four empty This closet or compartment here has uh, three areas for storage. We use all three. This one has our toys for the dogs. We keep extra leashes in here, harnesses. Can never have enough dog rakes. And then of course, paper towel. Every dog trainer's friend. I typically will keep 10 rolls in here, give or take. Can never have enough paper towel and or towels. Moving forward, or I should say to the front of the trailer. Here, I try to keep spare parts of everything. So this one right here is just kind of a miscellaneous drawer. Um, I keep cleaning chemicals in there. I keep a catch pole in there just in case. We get dogs in from Europe all the time. And sometimes that flight is a little hard on the dog. Um, when that dog comes in, we we have had to use a catch pole once because we could not get the dog out of a crate. Um, now we hand select all these dogs, but again, that is a long flight. That is a lot of people I've interacted with, uh, and sometimes with safety, we just have to do what we have to do. But again, we keep spare parts of everything. I keep my hose. I keep uh, tire chocks. I keep uh, spare uh, electrical wiring parts. Um, Torque stick, if I have to replace the uh, wheel, I can torque it down appropriately. Um, extra grease, WD-40, you name it, for a trip, I have it in here. Same with this one. Four-way, battery charger. I keep a camping tent in there. You never know if uh, you're gonna be stranded and you need a place to sleep. Uh, I've never had to use that, thank God, but you never know. And then also I keep a uh, wheel, basically like these little wheel ramps that you can drive up on. So it's a double axle trailer and you can drive up on it and that way you can replace the uh, wheel or the tire that needs to be replaced. It's almost like a wheel jack. I tried to do as much reflective stuff on this trailer as I could. I lined the entire bottom with a reflective tape. You can get that on Amazon. I line these with a reflective tape in case it's open at night. Again, it's just a uh, hexagon reflect, reflective tape. You can get that on Amazon. Our stay back 100 feet, all reflective red. Canine reflective red. And you will be surprised when it says stay back 100 feet, that actually reads, if you're 100 feet away, come talk to me. Because I have people from everywhere want to come talk to me. And the first question out of their mouth is, what's in here? And it clearly says canine on the side. So I normally go with cats. And you'd be surprised how many people believe me that there's stray cats in here. However, at the end of the day, we, we do educate and tell that uh, we, we carry labs, we carry Malinois, we carry Dutch Shepherds, we carry Pointers. Um, and, and all these dogs doing work for uh, our great nation. Be sure to tune in next time. And thanks for watching VDK TV.